is the WeCU2 team. We're here to talk to Linda Karemi, and she works at Cusco Limited, which is the umbrella body for SACOs, also known as credit unions, in Kenya. So, hey, Linda, what's up? How are you? I'm good, Sarah. How are you? I'm very good. So it's what, 5 o'clock your time right now? Yes, it's yeah. actually 5.04 my time. 5.04, and it's 9.04 in the morning here. So we're on a little bit of different schedules, but we're still... We're still making the time to uh, to talk a little bit about Sacos in Kenya this morning or afternoon. <laughs> yeah. Would you mind introducing your role and what you do for Cusco Limited? Okay. Um, as you said, I'm Linda Karimi. I'm mm -hmm. a corporate affairs executive here at Cusco Limited. Corporate affairs is um, the overall um function that oversees the corporate uh, function of Cusco. Mm -hmm. So my role entitles uh, communication and also advocacy um, mm -hmm. in terms of working with our SACO members and um, looking out for issues on how we can assist them mm -hmm. and also on how we can um, encourage them to grow. So it's kind of an overall um, function where it oversees all the departments. Mm -hmm. Very yeah. cool. And um, actually... I just was looking at some old news releases and I, I noticed that Cusco actually was awarded in 2013 uh, from the yeah. World Council uh, for outstanding mm -hmm. membership growth. And yes. the, the award actually came in recognition of the fact that SACOs in Kenya have the highest growth rate worldwide, which is a yeah. phenomenal um, achievement for especially... <laughs> If, if formation of youth SACOs and public service vehicle or mat matutu is it right matatu matatu <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. and um, so that's really awesome and you know with uh, Cusco offering SACOs and other cooperatives financial and technical assistance you guys are really at the forefront of um, the African SACO movement um, yeah so could you just first explain to people who might not be familiar with SACOs, how are those different from commercial banks? Um, for SACOs, mm -hmm. um, SACOs, first of all, are non-for-profit. That's the mm -hmm. structure, the nature of SACOs is not for profit. And um, they are member-owned and member-controlled. That means um, the SACO will focus on the interest of the member. Mm -hmm. But for commercial banks, they are profit-oriented and they are owned by shareholders. Mm -hmm. So whatever the bank does would be in the best interest of their shareholders, right. not uh, minding about the members or about the customers who have put their money there. Mm -hmm. But for circles, the, the main focus is on the members. And the members are also the ones who, who, who make the decisions. They mm -hmm. make the decisions during the annual uh, general meetings. So whatever, that's a supreme decision-making organ in a circle. Mm -hmm. So whatever the members decide, that is what will happen. However, in commercial banks, the customers don't have a say. It's the shareholders who will determine the operations of that bank. Mm -hmm. So takeaway messages for anybody who has not heard of SACOs or savings and credit cooperatives. They are essentially the same thing as credit unions. It's just another. Yes. It's just another way of saying it. Um, so yeah. let's talk a little bit about young adults in Kenya. Do you mm -hmm. do you think that most young adults in Kenya are aware of what sacos are and how they are different from commercial banks? Yes, um, sacos. If I could just uh, add, is actually an acronym. Mm -hmm. It means savings and credit cooperatives. Are you hearing me still? Yes, I can hear you great. <laughs> um, savings and credit cooperatives. That's uh, the, the, the long version of circles. So the youth um, have a, an understanding of what circles are. However, not a complete understanding because many of them know that circles are um, a better option for mm -hmm. them loans in terms of getting more affordable loans. But to get the loan, you need to save first. Mm -hmm. So the savings and credit model is what they don't understand. Understand that you have to save first before uh -huh. you can access credit. That is the circle model. Mm -hmm. So when they come to circles, 
they expect um, to get loans on the basis of the fact that they can repay, uh-huh. not on the basis of the fact that they can, they have already saved, which entitles them to getting credits. Mm-hmm. So that's where we, we need to create awareness that circles are different from banks. Exactly. Yeah. And, you know, Cusco has done some things to, to engage with the young adults what do you think are like some of the biggest challenges that Cusco has faced, though, in terms of, of really engaging with young adults? And okay, okay. Um, one of the challenges that we have encountered is, um, for instance, we have some youth products at mm-hmm. um, Cusco, and also generally in the circle mm-hmm. sector, they have some youth products. Um, from what we have seen in the past is that the default rate with the youth has actually gone up. Okay. So we have noticed that um, the youth are borrowing money, yes, but they are not repaying. So because of that, our default rate in those youth products has gone up. So what we have uh, advocated for actually and are still doing this year is to um, encourage circles to join credit reference bureaus Mm -hmm. so they can begin to share information with um, other circles to also reduce the chances of serial loan defaulters. Right. So that can also, um, uh, number one, urge the youth to repay their loans because if they don't, then they know there's a consequence. Mm-hmm. And then also encourage also to, to assist the circles to maintain their liquidity because their loans are getting repaid. Mm-hmm. Then the other challenge that we've encountered is also in the part of governance. Um, over the last uh, year or so, we have had quite a few youth circles formed, um, even by USAID and also Cusco and the Ministry of the Government mm-hmm. has spearheaded the formation of these circles. But some of these circles have not um, made it to maturity because um, they have they don't have adequate um, governance skills. Okay. So okay. what we have tried to do is to urge them to be integrated with already existing circles so that they can learn from what um, people who are older than them have done. And also we have we also have a training program where we train circles on capacity building or rather on governance mm-hmm. so that they can be able to improve. Mm-hmm. Um, the so, other thing that we have realized is also the lack of rather the low savings culture in the youth because many of them probably at this age would have more disposable income um, they don't have families, they don't have children, so that means they are spending maybe on rent or perhaps on food. Mm-hmm. So they are spending and not saving um, for their future because mm-hmm. probably they, they don't think it's important or it's a priority at this point. Right. So what we have tried to do is also to run um, a campaign with our members through our meetings ask them to encourage you to, to save their money and also um, also partner with you like through the VCU to campaign to urge the, um, the youth to start saving early. Mm-hmm. Could you explain a little about what exactly a youth SACO is? A youth SACO is a SACO that's mainly um, consisting of members who primarily are between the ages of 18 to 35. Mm-hmm. And is it Most run mostly members, by, is it also run by um, young adults or is it run by people of all ages? Um, you would say that maybe the management is mainly consists of the youth as well as the membership. Okay. Mainly, yeah, mainly consists of the youth. Mm-hmm. Um, but then probably you'd find maybe the, like the board or at that level, then now the age mm-hmm. starts to be not maybe beyond 35 but the membership is mainly the youth Mm -hmm. mainly because there could be business um like agribusiness or um Mm -hmm. maybe handicraft or just border 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 is sorry is a bicycle or taxi business or like um matatu which is also public service vehicles so the membership of those those circles mainly could be from 18 to 35. Mm-hmm. 
So those youth SACOs, do they have like tailored products and programs for specifically the 18 to 35 year olds? Do you have any examples of, of maybe some of those products or programs? Um, I'll give you an example of a SACO. It's called UNES SACO. Its membership is mainly from the agribusiness mm -hmm. and um, small and micro enterprise. So what they have done is that they have tried to automate almost all their processes in terms of um, they use the, the phone pretty much for everything. Mm -hmm. um, registration of a new member can be done through the phone. Um, even saving um, for members can be done on phone. Getting loans can be done on phone. The only thing that probably they would, they would do is maybe ask for a national ID which then they would scan and keep in their database for verification purposes. Right. But most of the operations are done on phone. So because their target is the youth who are um, who, who, who want the service of convenience rather right. than having to mm -hmm. go to the branch or to the make physical visits to the circle. Mm -hmm. um, so they have tried to automate and put everything on their mobile phone because the youth are also very tech savvy, so that has also um, mm -hmm. helped this support to grow. Right. And it seems like, um, you know, many of the young adults in Kenya are very present on social media. Do you think that some of the SACOs that Cusco works with have a strong social media presence? Um, some of them have a strong social media presence, mm -hmm. um, but not all of them. For example, we have some circles that are very strong on Facebook. For instance, if you look for United, they have about 16,000 likes on Facebook. Oh, wow. And also on Twitter. Um, even Stima Circle, maybe about 12,000 mm -hmm. likes on Facebook. Um, so they, some have a good, um, a good following on social media, but mainly the ones that have, I would say, an urban presence have mm -hmm. started to understand the importance of social media, yeah. especially as a, a feedback tool, as a marketing mechanism, as a communication tool. Um, but the ones in the rural areas have still not understood, mainly partly because the um, infrastructure has not yet gone down mm -hmm. to, the, to rural areas completely. It's in the pipeline, but it, there's still some ground to be covered. Mm -hmm. So mainly the ones that are, are active on social media is um, they're active on Facebook and Twitter. There are maybe one or two that are active on LinkedIn, mm -hmm. but the other platforms like Google Plus haven't quite been embraced. Okay. I was going to say, do you think that a lot of the SACOs reach people in rural areas through social media, or do you think that that's not usually the method that they use? Um, for the rural areas, um, how they reach is when they do membership um, recruitment campaigns, they use like marketing material like posters, which probably they put up in um, good locations like churches or schools mm -hmm. like, to get the word out there. They also use flyers and um, banners. Mm -hmm. Occasionally, you'll also find that they'll publicize um, these rec recruitment drives. Like, for example, um, with the recent digital migration, we now have so many local stations everywhere. So, say, for example, Asako is launching um, in coast, in the coastal region. They will call their local um, radio station or TV station in the coastal region to cover that story. And, and that now helps to get the word out there mm -hmm. to the following, to the citizens in that area. Mm -hmm. The other way they reach uh, people in the uh, members in the rural areas is through with a recent partnership of age banks, mm -hmm. through banks. They call it agency banking, where, for example, a, a, a circle will partner with a bank so, so that they can be able to access services uh, from that bank's ATM machines. I For see. example, recently there's a partnership between, it's called Steamer. Steamer is electricity in Swahili. Steamer Sako mm -hmm. and the Family Bank, mm -hmm. where Steamer Sako members can access um, savings and uh, withdrawal services 
from Family Bank 78 branches. So that means Stima Circle doesn't have to really open up new branches. They'll just write down the bank's existing branches. Mm -hmm. So that's the other way. Yeah, very cool. So I'm curious yeah. just about your opinion a little bit um, about what you think have been some effective strategies um, that Cusco has used to attract young adults or even any example that you've seen a different SACO use that was particularly successful in attracting young members to the SACO. Do you, what, okay, okay. in your opinion, what do you uh, think works the best? Okay, okay. For me, in my opinion, I would say that uh, mobile banking has really worked. Mm -hmm. um, statistically speaking, about two-thirds of the population in Kenya use mobile banking. And um, it's so prominent, it's also being used in the rural areas. Mm -hmm. So, personally, I think mobile banking has really worked in terms of attracting youth members because mm -hmm. um, you can save any time, any place. doesn't matter if it's past uh, 5 o'clock and the circle has closed, you can still save using your phone. Um, mm -hmm. So for me, I think that has worked the best in terms of attracting new members. Yeah, and you know, it seems like so many young adults in Kenya are, are very active on their mobile phones. Not only that, but I am just so impressed with how much um, SACOs have mobilized um, in the last couple years. In, in um, let's see here, it says... There's over 18,000 registered cooperative societies with 12 million members, um, which is which makes Kenya the leading country in Africa and uh, seventh in the world in terms of, of mobilizing um, member deposits. So it looks like over 460 billion shillings um, have been mobilized in 2014, which is very, very impressive. Um, and a lot of that, I'm sure, is due to the fact that um, mobile banking was offered. I am also curious, um, what, what do you think that, what would be most helpful from, from us here at WCU2 for, for, for serving Cusco? What, what can we do to help you guys reach your members? Okay. Okay. In the area of, uh, youth circles, I don't know if you have any, um, best case practices of a circle. Mm -hmm. Um, worldwide or anywhere in the world that has um, achieved good results that we can borrow that example and then also showcase it to our members, especially those that have um, youth circles. So that we can let them see this is how it's done, or so this is how it has been done in this country and perhaps they could borrow something mm -hmm. from that circle. Or, then um, yeah. maybe also to to do um, a savings drive, if that's possible, like a savings campaign mm -hmm. to increase the culture of saving, especially in young people. Right. Because many of them may not see the urgency of saving now because mm -hmm. maybe they think they'll, they won't they will get old anytime soon. Do you think that yeah. part of the reason um, that they are defaulting on loans is that there's a lack of financial education? beforehand yes. so they they just don't maybe they don't really understand the terms of the loans when they are being issued to them do you think that there's any any ways that the sacos could improve that in terms of financial literacy and education i think i think financial literacy is, is definitely um one thing that we should do more often um mm -hmm. in terms of to educate them um and also just know sometimes you can do maybe one training here, another training there. But if you do it consistently, mm -hmm. then they will see that there's urgency and there's need for them to start to mm -hmm. reform and, um, and actually see the sense of why they're being told to pay up their loans. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you think that there's any like um, like stereotypes about banks or sacos that the young, um, the youth in Kenya? might choose a bank for, for some reason over a SACO. Have you, have you heard any stereotypes about that? I have. Um, 
have. And the, and the reason why some youth would prefer to go to a bank is because when they go to a bank, um, they will not be told to save for the first six months. Mm. Chances are the bank will look at their pay slip Mm-hmm. And then based on that, they'll determine if this person can be able to repay this amount of money. Mm-hmm. Um, now, with the introduction of the credit reference bureaus, the banks are also sharing information. So they might also check the databases to see, does this person have a record of defaulting before they give the loan to this person? Mm-hmm. So the other that's one reason why yeah. um, a, youth, a youth in Kenya would opt to go for a bank. But on the other hand, um, some youth, or maybe a majority of them are aware that um, banks offer expensive loans. Mm -hmm. So they might take a loan, but maybe for a shorter period of time, because they are afraid of the um, interest rates, which are not stable, because they are subject to market rates. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Linda, do you have any any information um, about the uh, the young adult membership growth in the last uh, three to five years. Do you know if the trend is going going good, going bad, staying the same in terms of overall youth membership growth across Kenya? Do you have any information about that? I can only give you a rough estimate in yeah. terms of percentages, but um, for the exact membership, I'd need to ask um, the ministry. Okay. For the, the data, but averagely, um, the percentage in Kenya overall, in terms of youth, is about seventy percent. But in the circle movement, it would be at about forty percent. Okay, forty so, percent of all members. Yeah, you'd say. Yes. Okay. In terms of youth youth membership, um, but I don't I don't have the exact the mm-hmm. exact figure. So I guess the goal then would be to have the you know, the overall SACO membership ratio be more similar to the overall population ratio, right? More closer to 70% because, you know, Kenya is such a young, it's such a young country overall, especially compared to, you know, other countries like the U.S. and Canada where our average, yeah. our average age of a credit union member is in their 40s and even early 50s. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we're trying to reduce that, um, and meanwhile, it's, you know, it's a challenge that people are facing all over the world, um, even in a place like Kenya, where there's a ton of young people. Um, yeah, yeah. So could you talk a little bit about m and how that fits into some of the strategies that SACOs use to reach young adults um, through mobile banking? How has, what, what is m for those of you? For those who are listening who don't know what M-Pesa is, and how does that change the way uh, Kenyans bank with SACOs? Okay, okay. Um, MM stands for money, mm-hmm. and then PESA is Swahili for money. Mm-hmm. So that's how they came with M-Pesa. M-Pesa is um, a mobile money transfer. It's from a company called Safaricom. And so what Safaricom has done is that they have enabled um, people to transfer money um, from one person to the other through their mobile phone. Mm -hmm. So, and this has really helped our economy because um, actually last year there was about, I think it was 20, okay, I'll get the figures right, but about a third of the population is actually trust, uh, uh, relies on Mm M-Pesa. That's huge. <laughs> yes. yes. Yes, that's really huge. And that tells you that people have come to trust the system because for you to rely that if I send money to your phone, the money will actually come to you and it will not disappear in between. Mm-hmm. Um, that means that people have actually come to appreciate this service. So the, um, the transfer is actually instantaneous. It's, uh, it's automatic. It's within seconds. Mm-hmm. So... Um, people can send money and receive money through M-Pesa. You can also buy same through M-Pesa. You can pay your bills. You can pay for the water bill. You can pay for the electricity bill. You can pay for cable TV through M-Pesa. Um, they also have a service where you can, like when you go to the uh, shopping mall, you can buy for goods. You can buy goods um, using M-Pesa. 
Um, they've also introduced a service. It's a saving service, actually. Um, it's called Mshwari. And Mshwari means smooth. So it's like money smooth. So you can borrow money um, through the, the phone also. Mm -hmm. But then now this service, um, circles have also gotten into this kind of service. So their, their partnership with um, Safaricom is called M-Circle. Okay. So with okay. M-Circle, yes. With M-Circle, you can do much of the same thing. You can save money into your account, into your Circle account. Mm -hmm. You can um, access a loan. You can pay for bills um, all through the mobile phone. So okay. they have also adapted, uh, partnered with Safaricom and adapted um, the money transfer service um, through M-Circle. Have you noticed a lot of SACOs um, getting this service for their members? It's it's catching on slowly. The ones that I know for sure are about about five, mm -hmm. but um, it's 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 catching up. It's catching on slowly because of the convenience and the speed. It helps with accountability because you can verify there and then that this money was sent to this person. Mm -hmm. um, and it also helps us to become cashless. There's a lot of talk about Kenya being a cashless society. So that's also another way in which M-Pesa is transforming the way we bank here mm -hmm. in, this, in this country. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Um, yes, yes. It's, it's, it's competing with um, the, the smart cards. Yeah. Most people now, yeah, people now would, would buy um, goods on through their phones. Mm -hmm. And that's becoming more and more popular, I'm sure, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay, well, this has been a really good conversation. I wanted to just finish with mm -hmm. with you um, kind of asking the We See You Two participants um, in, the, mm -hmm. in our campaign, if you have one or two things that you are hoping to get back from them. Um, I know you mentioned a little bit about you know, examples of new products or messages and channels that young adults have been more receptive to with other credit unions around the world is that are you looking for examples like that um yes otherwise yes. um anything else that you can think of that you would like help with um because that's you know part of the reason why we see you too was created was to provide networking and collaboration among credit unions from from multiple different countries so if you want to just take it away from there and just you know you know restate kind of what you're looking for that would be awesome okay okay um i would like to partner with a we see you too campaign mm -hmm. um to help us um mobilize the young people to increase their savings and also have a better savings culture in this country mm -hmm. we would also like um to see examples of um circles that are have a good membership of the youth and how they have made it and how they have succeeded so they can be able to borrow and um, learn. Mm -hmm. We'd also like to share information um, on how we can grow um, the young adult membership in this country because indeed knowledge is power and um, mm -hmm. we'd, we'd like to have access to that knowledge so they can be able to benchmark and also to, to grow the circle movement in this country. Mm -hmm. Well said. Yeah. Very nice. Okay. okay. Well, I, geez, I hope that rain gives you guys a break for once, right? Is that every night that that happens? <laughs> yes. Yes. It's, it's been raining. It was quiet over the weekends, but yeah. then now today being a Monday, it has started again. Oh my goodness. Yes. That's so now I can only imagine how good the traffic is. Oh no. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully the rush is almost over and you can get home quickly. Well, have a good evening, and uh, th thank you for the time and, and for squeezing me into your evening. I know it's a little later than we had planned, but yeah. <laughs> it's okay. You enjoy your day. Are okay. you going for a meeting? Yes, yes. Okay. Lots have of meetings. Meeting. <laughs> okay. okay. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye.